Man, I love Selena so much, man. Uh, the people of Selena, it's not, I mean, it has a kind of a bad reputation, but it's just who you, who you know, who you hang with, man. And uh, I, my parents always kept me away from, you know, all the gangs, the streets, and uh, just stayed focused in boxing. And uh, I'll always fight for Selena. I, I, man, I take my hat off for them and uh, just keep fighting for them. The people, people who support me in Selena, man, they show love a lot. And I want to show love by, by you know showing out for them when I fight. My parents, man, they put a they they supported me my whole career, man. They put me in boxing when I was five, and uh, they stuck with me the whole time. They believed in me, especially my dad, man. I want to give a shout out to my my parents, my mom and dad, Ruben Villa and Jessica Villa. Man, they put up with a lot of stuff. My mom put up a lot of stuff between me and my dad. You know how it is, boxing and dads. The father, the father, the father and son thing. It's it's really hard to deal with in boxing, but. My mom, she's, she's strong for putting it up with me and my dad and uh, it finally paid off. My dad and his friend invested into a gym and man, I, I want to thank them. I love them so much for, for doing all this for me, man. And I wouldn't be here without, without my mom and my dad and my sisters. I mean, I got good. <laughs> Eventually, my, my parents put me at five and uh, my, my family loved boxing since they were since I was a baby before I was even born and uh, my dad wanted to put me in and uh, I got good, I liked it. A lot of ups and downs, but I stuck through it and uh, getting pretty successful as, as I'm growing up and uh, just working hard and just keep going up, man. I wanna say 14, 13, around there, I kinda realized, yeah, this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life until, until I couldn't do it no more and Competition, I, I, I drive for competition, man. I, I love competition and I, I love fighting the best. I love being the best, not only in boxing and anything, I just love competition in general. And uh, boxing is probably the most competition that got out of me and uh, just keep going and working hard and uh, staying humble. National title, I probably have around 15 maybe. Since, well, I started at eight and ended at 18 at the, the Olympic trials. And my most memorable, I gotta say the, the Golden Gloves, man. I, I beat some top guys in the Golden Gloves two years in a row, and I didn't, I never doubted myself at the Golden Gloves, but I was, I was, I just never imagined winning that, and that said right there, winning those tournaments, man, really boosted my confidence. Beating Shakur Stevenson for the first time there, and uh, Gary Russell also. My first is Golden Gloves, and uh, man, it, without without those tournaments right there, they, they I felt like they really made me to become a professional and really motivated me to. If I could stick in with those guys, man, those are some top guys. I give my hats off to to Shakur and uh, Gary Russell, because I mean, a lot of guys want to kind of hate on on success, I guess you could say. And at the end of the day, I'll I'll never hate on success because I mean. What kind of person would you be hating other people for you know achieving or being great at something? And uh, anyone, I'm I'm just real. I'm a sucker for success stories, and uh, I love success stories. And hopefully, people look at me that way too and drive off of my success. It was after his fourth fight uh, in Ontario. Uh, his him and his dad came over to talk to me as if uh, I was already retired, but asked me if I could work with his son. Of course, he was involved with another trainer and they had to take care of the business first before it came, before I would agree to uh, train him. And that's how it happened. They came to my house and had a sincere talk and and, I explained, and, and I've known Ruben since he was a little boy. He knows my, uh, he knows what I expect from a fighter and the hard work and dedication, complete dedication from, from, from the whole family, you know. Uh, and we had a nice talk, they agreed, and no contract or anything, so we just decided to work together. And uh, just had five fights with me and uh, complete success. But Ruben's been doing, he's been boxing since he was five years old. And something he loves, he was born, I think he was born to box. And he's got, he's got great intangibles. His, his, his hand speed is a little above average, but his foot speed is completely, completely different than any other fighter I've ever had. And also, his IQ in the ring, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. He's high, really, really high up there. And listens well to instructions and works hard and works smart. Ruben is, is totally different from any other, any other fighter I've ever had. 
a young 20 year old kid, uh, extremely dedicated. I mean, you know, punctual and listens well and uh, works works very good. We, we hit it off real good because I've known him for years. Motivates me to box, man. I want to I wanna be the best. I want to be known as the best, one of the best top boxers ever. And uh, just like I said, my background, my supporters, my family, Selena's, you know, I want to, when they say my name, I want them to think of Selena's and uh, just be remembered as, be remembered as a humble and honest guy. And uh, I did what, I did anything I could do to be the best. And, you know, a lot of top boxers, when I, when I get to that point, I want to, I want to top them. I want to fight the top boxers also, and uh, hopefully be remembered as that win or lose. My promoters Thompson and uh, Banner. I mean, it was uh, it was real easy actually. They 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 got down to business. We got down to business with them, and uh, they were serious. I just felt I felt like they're them two together will will bring the best out of me. They got me pretty active, fighting five six fights a year, and. Uh, just keeping me active, fighting here on the West Coast and with Banner on the East Coast, you know, just I always have something to fall back on when I, when I, if I don't get a fight over here, I'll get one over there. And, uh, you know, it's working pretty good. The team's strong. Everyone's working together and everything's going pretty good at a good pace. I expect, uh, I expect him to uh, cruise through the eight round fights, 2018, and then uh, hopefully, uh, at the end of 18, 2018, uh, first fight our first 10 rounds, and uh, we'll work from there, see what we have. Uh, of course, our opponents, I don't know if they could get any tougher than what we've been having, but, uh, well, the last, I think the last two opponents we've had have a combined record of like 180 fights, or 190 fights, close to 190 fights. Our last, our last opponent had 104 fights, had 58 wins, 44 losses, with like 38 knockouts. And uh, Ruben stepped up to the plate and he performed, performed extremely well, more than I expected. He, he won every second of every round, total six rounds. And the, the opponent we fought, fought three weeks later and fought to the draw with a guy that was 9 and 1. level guy, he fought Javante Davis to the distance and uh, a, few other, a few other world champions. But uh, uh, Ruben handled him real well. His movement confused the guy. He even came up to us and says, your, your, your kid right here is going to be a world champion. He has so much talent. He's so quick. He was like a, he was like a ghost. He was there and then he wasn't there. I mean, he says, I couldn't find my timing. I couldn't find my rhythm. I, I, he, he, he said himself, I'm, a, I'm an experienced fighter. That's what I do for a living. I have 104 fights and I couldn't touch this kid. That's, that's a pretty amazing compliment uh, for, you know, to a young 20 year old who has, that's why uh, his IQ in the ring is tremendous. Professional boxing is, honestly I could say this man because I'm a boxer and professional boxing is scary compared to amateur boxing and uh, you know, it's, it's harder man, it's your job now, you, you, can't, you have to take this serious, you can't, you can't really uh, take the shortcuts as, as you could do in amateurs because you get hurt, you get knocked out man and uh, I take off my hat to anyone who steps in that ring and uh, push their heart out in there and work hard every day in the gym, man. Uh, I respect that. It's, it's scary, man. Uh, anything can happen. You never know. Anything can happen to anyone. No matter what the record is, no matter what their background is. I have two hands and feet. You got two hands and feet. And uh, anyone could get hurt pretty bad. And uh, it, it could traumatize you. But when, it, when I'm talking about fear, I mean, I, my fear mostly is, you know, my parents seeing me get hurt or my, my sisters. My loved ones see me get hurt, so I, I work my butt off every day in the gym so they don't ever have to see that or feel that kind of fear or, you know, because they, they do everything they can for me and, and me having good performances, I want to pay them back to that. Like every, every fight I tell them, enjoy, enjoy tonight because I've worked hard and I did everything I had to do. There's no doubt, no question in my mind that uh, I'm going to lose. I don't go in there thinking that at all. You got to be confident and... Uh, you know, I just tell them to enjoy the show because, you know, I want you guys to enjoy it because I want to show you guys what I've been doing and, uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work behind all this. Uh, man, I want to be the top within two, three years, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to rush anything, but, yeah, man, I work my butt off and uh, it should pay off. Uh, man, I want to I wanna be up there top 10 pound for pound, hopefully. Just keep working hard, staying focused and, uh, 
you know, retire by, um, by um, 35 maybe, hopefully sooner if I can, but I'm just trying to be great, you know, and get out.